fun is in full swing at Foy's in Fairborn. Foy's is more than one store. Spend the evening browsing between six downtown Foy's Halloween stores. It's like a mall of Halloween merchandise. What will you be? Foy's Halloween stores has all the answers. See one of the largest selections of Halloween merchandise anywhere. Foy's Halloween stores in Fairborn. Hi, I'm Mike Foy, owner of Foy's Halloween stores in downtown Fairborn. If you like Halloween, you'll love Foy's. We're all monsters shop. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, right is right here. Yes, today's episode and adventure brings us to Fairborn, Ohio in the Dayton area and look at all the Halloween awesomeness behind us. Let's take a look at it on today's episode. I think I said today's episode like 20 times. Yes, you did. Let's do it. Okay, so here in downtown Fairborn, this is Foy's and it looks like they have a haunted museum. Look at all of this. This is awesome. Oh wow, look at the, the bench here. That's kind of cool. It's like a haunted house. So this is apparently the premier Halloween store for the area and they do have another store across the street that we will go take a look at. I want to see what's in the window here. Look at this. This is like a, a zombie mechanic. I don't know if you can see it in the window yeah you can kind of see it Ew, he needs a dentist and this is i don't even know what this is supposed to be but it's kind of terrifying and then we've got someone on a ladder doing painting what yes crazy old lady you're now a witch <laughs> oh man you're too short Okay, I think we're gonna go in here first and see what's in here. Oh. You're not on the pill. Relax and leave those unpleasant thoughts in the door. I assure you, soon you won't have a single care left. All right, everyone, so my first impressions of that place is awesome decorations, but I would have to say it's not a very friendly place because the first thing they did was stop me and tell me I couldn't take pictures. Why? It's a Halloween store, number one, and also a tourist attraction. So of course people are gonna wanna take pictures, so I really can't show you very much of this place. So unfortunately, it's kind of a bust for that, so. Um, and of course, I don't support places that are like that anyway. So Somebody we're gonna said, we're gonna move on and see if I can maybe check out across the street. But they're probably gonna yell at me there too. So who knows? Oh man, I love the little the ghosts from uh, what is it, Ghostbusters? <laughs> yep. That's cool. So this is apparently the kids' costume store. Wow, this is awesome. All right, so this is the main store for Foy's and it looks incredible. I'm just gonna pause here and let you listen to the sounds. Yeah, I was not expecting that to just all of a sudden. Wow. Wow, look at this sign here. That is so cool because this used to be a five and dime store, five and 10 dime store. Okay, we got to take a look at this. This is the guy falling. I guess he's falling into a corrosive 
bad of something? I don't know. Got Frankenstein. All right, we're gonna head inside and hopefully not get yelled at again. Oh wow, this looks like an awesome place. Whoa! All right, so here you can take a look at the history of Foy's. You can see some of the original owners and the store throughout the years. They also had a fire. Not at Foy's. Oh, but there was a fire yeah, um, down here. There were two. 1957, 1966. Oh, yeah. One was on the right, one was on the left. Yep. Look at all the candy. Okay, can you guys pick out the uh, item from this image as to what I'm looking at that I'm going, ooh, I think that's awesome. I bet you can. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Yep, it's that right there. Of course, anything with blinky lights, I gotta have. Ooh, those are cool. They had those at the, yeah, they had similar ones in the dollar store like that. And there's so much stuff in here. It's like, just look everywhere. I like this party supply sign that's neon. Absolutely loving the neon candy sign, of course. Look at all the old school candy that they have. If you want party favors, they've got all kinds of little tiny trinkets that you could get and just kind of give out to all the guests. <laughs> what? I can't see, oh. Interesting. So this is more of your kind of normal stuff that would um, be inside the five and dime store. This is kind of giving me some Ben Franklin five and dime store vibes. Oh look, they got one of those, the lucky eggs. A prize every time. I've never gotten one of these to work. I think they've got, I think the golf is they don't look they're gonna lose it as a kid, so they just in their
This was my first time visiting Foy's, and I didn't realize that they had six separate stores to explore, so I didn't cover all of them in this video. As far as being told I couldn't film, I guess it was just that one store, and I couldn't figure out why. Nothing against Foy's, I just don't care for places that don't let you film. It's just me. More awesome spooky content is just a click away. There's a Patreon link in the description box below, or you can click the join button for my YouTube membership. And thank you for supporting the future of video. I will be returning to Floy's next Halloween season to cover everything that I missed. So click the subscribe button so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you on another episode of Urbex. Happy Halloween! <laughs>